I'm Ryan from ExtremeTerrain.com and in this video we're going to talk all about my favorite rocker armor in a couple of different categories for your 2007 and up four-door JK. Now there are a lot of different reasons that you'll want to install armor on the rocker area of your Jeep. That's an area that's very susceptible to damage when you're doing some more hardcore off-roading and if that does come in contact with a rock, a stump, any one of those off-road obstacles, it can push the rocker up into the door, creating a situation where you can't open and close the door properly and a very expensive repair. So rocker armor is going to give you a lot of peace of mind and ensure that you're not going to have that issue. Now most rocker armor is going to be there for protection as it says right in the name this is armor but a lot of it's also going to provide you with a step. Now the step that you'll get from something that is not armor and just a step is going to sit low and away from the Jeep. It's going to be a very useful step. The step that you're going to get with armor is a little bit more of a secondary function of the piece so it's not going be quite as useful but it's still going to help you and your passengers get in and out of your Jeep. So today we're going to talk through a couple of different options for bolt-on armor. This is not armor that requires you to drill a whole bunch of holes in your Jeep. That's kind of a whole different category. So today we're going to talk about bolt-on armor. Make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel to check out the product videos for each one of the pieces of armor that we're going to talk about today and also to check out a bunch of other great Jeep content. So today we're going to talk through the Smitty Belt side armor. That's going to attach in a way that is going to give you some nice protection but not going to be quite as strong as some of the other options and it's also going to be a little bit less expensive than some of the other options. The next one we're going to talk about is the Red Rock 4x4 side armor and that's going to be a very similar design however it's going to attach a little bit differently and be a little bit stronger. Then we'll talk about the Barricade Enhanced Ruby Rails which is going to attach in much the same way as that Red Rock 4x4 armor but be a completely different design. This is going to look very much like a factory Rubicon rail that would come on a Rubicon right out of the factory, but with one extra bar to provide a little bit more of a step. And finally, we're going to talk about the barricade rock sliders, and that's going to be one of the strongest options of the four that we're going to talk about today based just on how it mounts to the Jeep. So let's get into the first option. So the first rocker armor I want to talk about is the Smittybuild SRC Rock Crawler Side Armor. Now this is going to be something that is going to add some protection, it's also going to add a very useful step. It's going to be one of the less expensive options of this design. Um, and it's not going to be quite as strong as some of those other options out there. This is going to be a very useful step for you because it is going to be this very traditional three bar, almost triangle shaped design. So it is going to stick out a good bit from the side of the Jeep. It's gonna give you a nice flat stepping surface. In fact, you can see here, this has um, some steel welded on it to give you even more of a nice flat stepping area. And this three bar design is something that you are going to see from a couple of different manufacturers and you're actually going to see one of the other pieces that we're going to talk about today but the main thing that makes these different from one another is going to be how they mount and i briefly touched on that a little bit before so the mounts that this piece has here are going to be just two mounts even on the four door we just have two mounts instead of the, also using the third one in the middle here and these are going to mount to these smaller body bolt bushing bolts. So these are the smaller bolts that hold the body bushing in place, not the larger, stronger body bolt in the center. Um, and of course, because it only has two mounts, it isn't going to be quite as strong as some of the other ones. So if you're looking for a little bit of a lighter protection, you're looking for a very useful step, then I think this is still going to be a pretty good option. But if you are looking for even more protection, I would probably go with one of the other options we're gonna talk about that will add a third mounting point and even additional features that make it that much stronger. This next option is the Red Rock 4x4 side armor, and you can see it's a fairly similar design to the Smitty Belt that we just talked about. It's going to have the same three bar triangular design, although it's a slightly different shape. And the other difference is that this doesn't have that flat steel welded on the top of it. This is still going to be a very useful step because it gives you a flat surface across these two bars here that sticks out a good bit from the side of the Jeep, giving you a nice usable step. Now the difference is, and I mentioned this before, all about how these are going to mount onto your Jeep. This is going to have three different mounting points. They're going to mount to the bottom of the tub uh, using these plates here, and then it's also going to mount onto the pinch seam. Again, completely bolt-on, you're not going to have to drill anything out here, but because this mounts in three locations and because it mounts here and here on two different planes, that's going to help absorb any sort of uh, bending or flex that you might get from the additional leverage of something like this. 
This really takes away some of that mechanical advantage that you get if you were to put a lot of weight on the step far out here, or going the other way, put a lot of the Jeep's weight down on a rock or another obstacle on this bar that's so far away from the vehicle. Having these two mounting points, again, on two different planes really helps to alleviate any of that flex you might get from having all of that leverage. So this is gonna be something that's gonna mount nice and securely onto the Jeep, giving you a good bit of protection. The next option I wanna talk about are these barricade enhanced ruby rails. And these are gonna be a very different design from the last two that we looked at. They both shared that sort of triangular tubular design. This is going to be very similar to a factory ruby rail or Rubicon rail that you'd find on a Rubicon model Jeep right out of the factory. The enhanced part is the fact that it has this additional bar on it. And that additional bar is going to give you a little bit more of a stepping surface, but it's also going to add even more protection, keeping any sort of obstacle that much further away from the vehicle. This is going to mount in a very similar way to the Red Rock 4x4 uh, side armor that we just talked about. It's gonna mount to the bottom of the tub and also onto the pinch seam. So it's gonna do a really good job of uh, protecting your Jeep and of holding up to a lot of weight on the top or a lot of stress on the bottom of this bar. And this is going to not stick out very far from the Jeep. It's gonna be tucked in nice and tight. So you're gonna have even less potential for uh, that leverage that can cause some twisting and eventually cause some damage. Now, having it closer to the Jeep is going to be a less useful step. However, it's also going to give it a nice sleek and unobtrusive look. So if you're looking for something that's a little bit more low profile, you're not as concerned about the step. Again, you can still step on this, but it's not going to be quite as useful. Um, then I think this is gonna be a good option while still giving you a good bit of protection. And the last option I wanna talk about today is the Barricade Rock Slider. And this is going to be the strongest option of all of the ones that we've talked about today. As far as the design goes, it's going to be a tubular design kind of similar to this mini belt in the Red Rock that we talked about, but it doesn't have that lower bar. These are just going to be two upper bars, and they are going to actually slant away from the Jeep a little bit. And what that's designed to do is not get you hung up on a rock or an obstacle when you're off-road. If you are sliding down off of something, it's, this is going to help to push the Jeep away from the obstacle instead of getting hung up on it. That's why you have that little bit of an angle there. Now, because you are getting rid of one additional bar and because this doesn't sit flush or flat or parallel to the ground, it's still gonna be a step, but it's not going to be as useful. As you can see, the trend is we get a little bit away from being a step and more and more about protection. Now, these are gonna be big beefy bars. They have a couple of gussets. There's a ton of strength there, but what really makes this a nice strong option is the fact that it mounts again in three locations like the last two that we've talked about, but this is going to mount onto those big, beefy, strong body bolts. Now, I've seen these rock sliders take a lot of punishment off-road. These can definitely stand up to pretty much whatever you're gonna be throwing at them. Now, like I mentioned before, if you are going to be willing to drill a bunch of holes in your Jeep, you can get some um, armor plating that is going to be just that much stronger. But for a bolt-on option, I really like the rock sliders that attach onto the body bolts. I've seen these things definitely take a beating and they are going to be one of the strongest options that we talked about today. So those are my picks for a couple of different types of side armor that are going to attach to your Jeep in different ways, providing more or less protection. We talked through the Smitty Built Rock Crawler Side Armor, also the Red Rock 4x4 Rock Crawler Side Armor. We also went over the Barricade Enhanced Ruby Rails and finally the Barricade Rock Sliders. So, Make sure you comment below, let us know which of those pieces of armor you like best, which ones you want to install on your Jeep and why, or which ones you already have installed and how they're working for you on the trail. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to check out product videos on all of these items, as well as many others. Remember, these are just my picks. We have a lot of other options on the site, so make sure you subscribe to check those out.